The day I shot this photo and a handful of others that I will happily share with you in this video is all about the power of photography. It's not about any specific camera, it's not about technical specifications, it isn't even about the photos themselves, it is about what just owning one of these things can mean for you. Now let me tell you why. So, we were at the start of January, the start of this year. I'm living in Carinthia, at a place near Hermagor. It's full on winter, it's minus 16 degrees Celsius in the morning, short dark days. I'm working all the time. I'm alone most of the time. And then when the day off finally arrives, you don't, you kind of don't know what to do with yourself. And you would be very, very tempted to just stay home, stay in, and just do nothing at all. Now, I had been eyeing the surroundings, and one of the things on my list was the Italian Adriatic port town of Trieste. And the, the weather was just so much nicer there. But the thing that pulled me, you know, across the starting line was my camera. The desire to go out and hunt for beautiful images. And thanks to this camera, I actually got in my car, I drove for two hours, I spent an entire day just hunting for experiences basically. And I came home richer and happier and with a couple of nice photos. So I would like to in invite you guys to just join me on this day, experience it with me, and I hope you like the photos. Behind me is Slovenia, and on the other side we have Trieste. So we are on the Adriatic coast, a big naval uh, port here in Italy. And this used to be the backyard of the Austrians. The Habsburg Empire used to have its big naval bases here. This was its window on the world, on the ocean, so to say. And today I'm here, and this is mind-blowing to me on so many levels. Mainly because it's the sun is shining and it's warm. Let's just hike down this path here a little bit, so I'm out of the big, harsh sun. Which is not so nice, because what I'm hoping to do here is to go on a little bit of a photo trip. Get myself some images. I'm on a bit of an image hunt, but... To be honest, I don't really have any plans. I'm just gonna wander around, see, just enjoy the day. Now, you might be wondering, if you were in Trieste, why are you in woods and hills? I, you know, that's just how my brain works. So when I was looking at the map, first thing I identified was the hills above the city on the border with Slovenia. And they showed some nice gorges, some nice pools, and especially a really nice waterfall. So my plan right now is to try and find this waterfall. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm so totally used to freezing and cold. I even, I even uh, considered taking my jacket when getting out of the car. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Probably gonna take off this cotton shirt. Got a merino one under here. It's uh, funny how you can get used to temperatures really fast. This is where I really feel like a, this is a pale northern European. <laughs> oh yes, there it is. Looking at the map, I think you're supposed to, I mean the good trail is up there. You're supposed to approach this thing from above. But a waterfall always looks more impressive when you look at it from below, doesn't it? Obviously, you know, jeans and sneakers is the way to go when doing this. It's supposed to be city trip, but I'm doing city trips all wrong. If my friend Madel is watching this, she will be laughing her ass off. I know in Madel, I'm an idiot. Just be happy you're not here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Which way now? Must be down here, man. That way, up those rocks. I think that would give me like a very good view of the um, the water falling thing. Uh, but I'm stuck, so maybe I can find a way around because this is just too much. And I'm carrying uh, mucho monies and the camera equipment, so I'm not about to go for a swim. Damn it! It's some classic Dieter shit. Why am I always getting myself into off trail situations? Uh, why don't I just learn to stick to the damn trails? They're there for a reason. I think I'm almost there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Just 
good shot. That was nasty. I better get my ass back to town because I'm on a city trip. And I'm doing city tripping all along. But this alone has been more than worth it. Finally playing outside, not freezing my ass off. Has been pretty cool. And I am pretty curious about results from this bad boy. Let's go. It's now 15 past three in the afternoon and it's very very busy here on the streets and the first thing I noticed that everybody is wearing masks <laughs> so I'm not a very up-to-date on the rules here in Italy so let's find a mask head out on the streets and uh, see what we can catch before the light goes I'm gonna keep following these parallel streets until I get to the old city center where I'm gonna tag some of the highlights place of Italia and the, the funny thing is it's huge and it's straight on the coast so this is the ocean as you can see very beautiful very bombastic very monumental very blockish squarish and you can definitely see like this is Austrian style I think or almost Austrian style very influenced actually as a matter of fact walking around here I, I feel like I'm in a French city to be honest like this is very strange it's very ugly with the Christmas trees, <laughs> the Christmas music playing, absolutely disgusting. But they have very, very awesome light poles up here, First World War monuments. I really like this. because I have my 33 on here should have had my 56 this would have been beautiful I definitely wasted way too much time no wasted is the wrong word I spent too much time in the hills to be able to properly enjoy this so now I have two choices either I'm going to rush my way through the city try to catch the last of the highlights within this day with this light and if I'm looking at the horizon using the finger trick I think I have maybe 30 minutes of light left might as well just sit down and enjoy it. Let's just say, I have quite a bit of inhibitions to overcome as a photographer in a setting like this. I'm used to playing around in outdoor settings where I'm completely alone. There's nobody around, just shooting landscapes or people I'm familiar with. So this whole street thing is um, highly uncomfortable. But then again, you know, if I hadn't, if I didn't have this thing, if I hadn't brought this thing, I prob probably wouldn't be out here. I really, generally, like this camera, just having a camera is a super good reason just to be motivated to go out and see places. Because if you're like me, if you're alone in a, in a foreign place, quite often I just wouldn't go. I mean, what would be the point of just being there alone? So bringing a camera is a massively, massively good motivator. So instead of chasing my way through the city now, I'm just going to sit. Enjoy, enjoy the sunset and um, crack open some of these beers that I brought.
Cheers, guys, to sunsets in Italy. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. Now, I hope you guys see that this was not about anything technical at all. It wasn't even about the photos. It's about what owning one of these cameras can mean for a person, especially somebody who might be having a bit of a rough time, maybe feeling a little bit lonely. Just owning one of these devices can make you get out of the door, go interesting places, meet interesting people. So if you're anything like me, pick up your camera a little bit more often.